stock number 274. This is an 1861 U.S., so made for the United States military, uh, contract musket. It was manufactured by LGNY in Windsor, Vermont. And if we look at the side plate on the side of the firearm, we should be able to read LGNY, Windsor, Vermont. And on the back of that plate, we should be able to see U.S. So U.S. is stamped on there. 1862 is stamped on the top of the musket, but it's an 1861 contract musket. This is a pretty firearm. The stock on this is not cracked or split. I've been over it before. I don't see any hairline cracks on it. Maybe you do as I turn it. Um, the uh, bright work on it is in extremely nice condition. The straps uh, seem to be in very nice condition. I can't tell you that it was, that the stock was or was not refinished. I can tell you because it looks pretty much the same up and down. The Actually, the, the, the no, it looks pretty much the same, except for where it was carried right in here. It's a little, not quite as glossy right in this area. But other than that, I can't see where it's got like shellac on it or something like that. I don't know what they used back in the day. What I do want to point out, though, is the architecture on this trigger, uh, just the way it's machined, the way the trigger housing is done, a lot of really neat work on it. The screws that hold the trigger housing into place don't look to be like they had to be taken off a bunch of times. This doesn't look like a high maintenance musket, to be very honest. Um, so this is obviously something that doesn't have to have an FFL to be transferred. Let's take a look at the top, top of it. Uh, thought I saw a mark on it. I mean, a, like a number, but I don't. It's just, it's the grain. It's not a plug or anything like that. So I don't see no indication on it of any damage. We'll take a look at the action on this. So I'm going to take it to half cock safety, and then I'm going to take it all the way back. We can see that the nipple is in very good condition. It's a threaded nipple, obviously. It may have a washer underneath it, or it's a polished flap, one of the two. Um, it is all removable, uh, so you can clean underneath it. The bolts are removable in the top behind the trigger, and the bolts on, that hold the uh, firing assembly on are all removable. Uh, the sight is a very nice looking sight, very well machined, adjustable windage uh, are to have set it up. No elevation that I can see, kind of a small front sight. Um, I'm not going to, I will drop the hammer on this, but I'm not going to let it fall all the way down. I, I really hate to do that without a uh, cap in place. This is a cap and ball firearm, it is not breech loaded. It is muzzle loaded. Very cool. Okay, um, and here if we take a look at the back, we can see US stamped on the butt plate. Kind of a thick butt plate. Uh, very nicely done. I can't say any bad things about this contract musket. What I can say is it has a bayonet with it. The bayonet is stamped with US also. The bayonet is a socket style bayonet, so it fits on the end of the muzzle. The front sight goes in here, if you can see this raised section, comes up, spins, and comes up into there. And then there's a tensioner to tension the, uh, to, to uh, increase or decrease the amount of tension on it while it's in place. Um, again, very good machining. Uh, not worn out at all, and the correct bayonet. Is it the original bayonet? I have no clue. Uh, there's no number on it. So, 
Take a look at pictures of this at www.artsgunsandammo.com. Give me a call at 636-282-0561, art at artsgunsandammo.com. Um, if this is your firearm, put it on a MasterCard, one of the other credit cards, uh, write me a check. Um, if there's something that you want, a question you need answered, by golly, get it answered before you buy the gun, okay? Uh, we'll try to be up, up front and honest with everyone as much as possible. So take a look at it. Give me a call. I'll try to be the eyes for you. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Have a good day. Bye now.